okay? <laughs> I think so, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, good, okay, good morning everybody. Thank you for coming today. In this presentation, we are going to talk about an interdisciplinary project, which, which we call it the Cloud Museum, and I give I, and I will give more details about it later. By the way, if you have any questions, please ask us in the end of the presentation. First of all, I'd like to introduce, introduce our kindly team. There are four hardworking students in our team. They are Peter, Tiffany, Bruce, and I. We study business management, management finance, museum and gallery in education and uh, computer science respectively. According to the group presentation task rationale, this presentation will be divided into four stages. The stage one is the project introduction. In this stage, I will give I will give an outline of our presentation and briefly introduce our interdisciplinary project. Then, secondly, is the individual problems and the solution. In this part, Peter will give some information about each member's contribution and sh and show some some individual problems and solutions. Thirdly, is it's Tiffany's part who will show the potential challenges in the interdisciplinary work. Finally, Bruce will analyze the type of the interdisciplinary work and show how, what can we learn from that work. Okay, so what's the Cloud Museum? Actually, it is a software it's a fusion of artificial intelligence, com compu human computer interaction technology, technology and uh, virtual reality. People, you, people use this software could visit most of museums online anytime, anywhere. Perhaps it's still a little confusing what it is and how it affects the museum industry and uh, our life. For the purpose of making it clear, then I, I, I would like to give you an example. As we all know, the British Museum is very attractive. There are hundreds of thousands of foreign visitors coming to London for it every year. We are lucky. Our university just near the museum, so they, we can go there easily. But for someone who lives lived in another side of the earth, it's quite difficult for them to achieve that because such far distance. However, however, the the Globe Museum could help them. The users just need to download the, this software. Soft, soft, software from the internet, then they can visit most of mo most of museums or galleries in the world with paying a few fee. In addition, this software provides a VR service. So that's to say, the the audience could have an impressive feelings, just like play a VR game. The only difference is that the gameplay is changed to a museum or a gallery. Furthermore, the project not only not only for the individual visitors, but also for but also could be used for education, like uh, especially in the history uh, arts class. Okay, so, so, so that's the Cloud Museum. Then turn to my clay Peter. He will sh show something about individual problems and solutions in this work. Thank you. Oh, uh, hello everyone. I'm Peter. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, group members 
uh, tasks and individual problem, problems and uh, solution. Um, first, I will show you some, uh, so you guys some thing about the uh, group members tasks. Uh, business, business management for Marvin. He focus on design solution and pre-project market research. Uh, finance for me. I focus on investigate uh, audience groups and uh, source of funds. Um, museum and uh, gallery education for Tiffany. She focus on contact a uh, third party uh, like museum. Uh, computer science for Bruce. Uh, he focus on simple techn uh, technical. A uh, technical program. Uh, second, I will uh, talk. I will give some um, problems of the indi individuals different uh, disciplines. Mm, uh, business management. Uh, Marvin found uh, it's very hard to find some uh, similar products in the market, and uh, uh, the data is difficult to collect. Uh, finance for me, um, there are some problems just like the increase or decrease in the budget is difficult to control in the process. Um, museum and gallery education, uh, face of complex uh, social groups, Tiffany found the way, uh, 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 Tiffany found the problem is uh, a product may not uh, satisfy all the people. Uh, because people may from different uh, culture and uh, people may from different uh, background. Uh, computer science, uh, rules is uh, found the problem. It's like uh, existing programming skills are uh, inadequate. Inadequate. Uh, then I will show you guys some solutions how to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, Marvin tried to find a similar product on a, a particular feature uh, because he is really hard to find a, a product who are similar. Uh, uh, finance. I try communicate with the team member and give a, a general data. Museum and gallery in education. Uh, Tiffany found the way and innovate, uh, innovate in the content, <coughs> make the products more functional and uh, cater to public taste. Um, computer science, blue se only seek help for experienced people in related fields. And uh, actually for the uh, project, our group is try to use some ways uh, for our project, um, such as understanding of professional knowledge, uh, communicating on time, and uh, trying our best. And uh, for this project, we also uh, our group also studied something of uh, just like is uh, how to uh, cooperate with the people who from different uh, uh, culture and. Uh, uh, background or um, disciplines. So this is my part. Uh, Tiffany will show something interesting on stage three. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tiffany. Uh, before I before I talk about the challenge in discipline interdisciplinarity work, I would like to uh, discuss about it is, whether it is possible for each discipline to work on well with each other. Uh, so, firstly is uh, business management and finance. According to Becker and uh, sorry, according to Becker and Trotter, these are these are soft and applied. The, uh, sorry, according to Becker and Trotter's colonization of interdisciplinarity, these these are belong to soft, soft and applied uh, discipline. While uh, which means that these two uh, disciplines are functional, are functional and utilitarian. Um, so they have the similar uh, re researching process. So they have the 
similar researching process and they could have working on well with each other. So um, next is computer science. Uh, computer science is belong to the hard and fine uh, discipline, and it has the it has quantitative it has used quantitative and qualitative research and always result in techniques. Well, for our project, uh, computer computer science is very important because it has a significant impact on this project because. We, we need the technology and and it is really important and necessary for uh, people from computer science and technology to talk about the details um, about what kind of technology are we going to use in this project and as for people from other three disciplines we have to abstract the basic or the common knowledge about that and last but not least is museum study. So this is the only pure uh, discipline in this project. So it could have some difficulties in researching and working working with others. Um, but for museum, it also be the core. It also be the core part of the whole museum uh, project. Uh, for this discipline, it has result in understanding and interdiscipline sorry it result in, in understanding and interpretations but this time the work is could be different but this time the work could be a little bit different it has to solve some particular particular problems and try to address them uh, although Although we could like working out well with each other, but there are still some potential problems and challenge. So I would like to share with you guys. Uh, the biggest problem, according to Chen Pao, is that how to know about each other well. Um, well, that is that is to say, some people they may very talented, or they can explain them, they have very confidence to explain themselves well in their own discipline, but they could have some difficulties to communicate with other people from different inter uh, from other different disciplines. And uh, for people from different disciplines, uh, there are still some professional terms for them to understand it could be hard. So I, we, we think that this is the most um, difficult problem or challenge for us for this whole project and another uh, challenges or difficulties could be like we receive less foundation uh, funding as we expect or kind of like that so this is my part now let's turn to the stage four as we'll come to the stage 4. The, uh, the question in stage 4 is the type of interdisciplinary, uh, interdisciplinary project and uh, what have we learned. Uh, by searching, tra uh, treating and uh, Barry Team's articles, uh, we can confirm that uh, our projects are multidisciplinary and uh, Integra uh, integrative uh, uh, exercise, and uh, this is the in, uh, definition of uh, those modes. And uh, as you can see, it's same like our project. And uh, let's move on to the next pro uh, questions. Is what have we learned? Uh, to answer these questions, I ask everyone in our group. And the uh, first one is Marvin. Marvin learns uh, some, get some experience in interdisciplinary group working, and uh, it's quite helpful if he want to start a business or have to or open a comp uh, or open a, or, or have a project to 
cooperation with the com uh, other company. And the next is Peter. Peter has learned uh, how to listen and speak carefully. The reason he learned it is because, as we know in a team, competition and uh, conf uh, conflict always happened. And uh, in, order, in order to prevent bad re uh, results, control our uh, emotions and actions are quite important. Uh, let's say the first, say the last one is Tiffany. Tiffany say he got experience of how to use theory uh, in real life. Uh, I can use a, I, I can use an example to explain what he has learned, like like a book that can teach you how to cook. But uh, however, as we know, the cook can't. If you just read a book, you can't know how to cook exactly. And uh, the main point is the knowledge is not uh, it's not the, the main point is. How, it's not how much knowledge we learned, it's how to use it. And the, the last one is me. Um, I learned how to cooperate with students in different disciplines. And uh, the reason I find and I have this question and uh, I learned it is because I, uh, uh, because we are from different disciplines, and even we know each other almost a year, uh, we still don't know what they learn, and uh, they don't know what I learn. And because of that, uh, we need to cooperate as much as possible, and uh, same t and sometimes we need to uh, compromise. And um, that is. And the last this is our reference list. And, uh, thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please ask, ask us. Thank you. Questions? Yes. Okay, could I just ask, um, according to the, to the text, to the literature, <coughs> how, how would you expect the different approaches of the, of the different... Can, can you, sorry, just all move into the... Can you move or move over there so I can get you in the, in the shot there? <laughs> Lovely. Okay, sorry, I'll ask the question again. According to the literature, what would be the different approaches you would expect to see towards this project from your different disciplines? I think it's really Peter's section that I'm, I'm addressing that to. I don't know how to speak. Do you understand the question? What would, how, how would your different disciplines approach this project according to the literature? that we have studied this term? I only show something from my own ideas, so I did focus on the literature. And, uh, so, uh, can I, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, for, uh, for Peter and uh, Marvin, they are from finance and, fin finance and uh, uh, management. business management. Uh, they they could have they are focusing on uh, collecting data and try to analyze if it work or not. So they may you they may have a lot of interviews or things uh, or things like approaches like that. But this is all called quantitative uh, approaches. Um, but for uh, for Bruce, Bruce is you can't remember me. <laughs> as for Bruce, honestly, we. Uh, I, I'm not quite understand about his uh, his areas. Just as I said, it's, it could be the biggest obstacles for for us to understand his uh, 
his discipline. So I would like him to uh, to answer this question. But as for me, uh, the museum and uh, gallery in education, uh, I would like to use the same quanti quantitative research to uh, process to work on with this project because I need to find out which uh, the different customization of audience and how uh, what their certifications about the museums so I can then choose something from this area mm. okay thank you do you, do you want to say anything Bruce about what no. would <laughs> or in other words the businessman finds the opportunities from the market there is no no that no no subject like no product like that in the market and people demand it so and the finance man found we can make we can make profit from that then the museum museum studies and the computer they work together to create this software so that's the purpose how we how we do this project, yeah, and why we do it. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I had a question about the project, actually. Um, what would, you, you said the um, person would be able to visit the museum. Yeah. What exactly did you mean by that? Would it be a virtual reality experience where they would walk around the museum, or what would that look like? Hmm. Do, do you have played the... VR, VR game. game. VR game. Mm -hmm. So if you wore a VR glasses, uh -huh. you can you can visit this museum just like in the real life. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you.